Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Last time we dealt with some stuff, and now we're gonna go back to a lovely little cave here. Well, we're back. But it still seems like there's nothing here. Just this white sand stretching out in front of us. And quicksand pits, obviously. I mean, yeah, Riley, we're not blind or anything. At least I hope not. But, you know, last time we were in this kind of situation, we jumped through water. And so this time maybe we'll jump through the sand downward. Not forward, but downward this time. So that is what we're going to be doing here. Let me tell that idea to Riley in the form of jumping up and down and walking forward. You want us to jump into the quicksand? Yes. I do. I'm very serious. Just like the waterfall. Exactly. Just like the first exploration. See? See? You can trust me, Riley. Well, I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. It's all good, Riley. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. And since we're going to be the bravest ever, we're going to, you know, jump into the sand again. Well, not again, but for the first time. All right, let's do this then. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! All right, there we go. Getting swallowed by the sand. Hopefully we're not dead. And flop we go. Great. Oh, my backside. Wh where are we? Is this a cave? We fell through from up there. I mean, that's what makes logical sense here, Riley. I mean, we didn't fall from the sky or from, we didn't go flying upwards, we fell down. Anyways, that's besides the point, but welcome to Quicksand Cave, everyone. There's gonna be a total of 21 floors, technically split in half with the rest off in the middle, so 10 and 10, and then the final floor. Now, that being said, we're going to be meeting in the first 10 floors, Nakata, Vibrava, Pupitar, Scorpy, Sandslash, and Mawile. And then the pit will be seeing Pupitar, Scorpy, Mawile, Sandslash, Tyranitar, Tyranitar, Hippopotamus, and Ninjask. I'll give that reminder of the pit when we get to the pit. That being said, let's get through it now, shall we? And then we got a couple of buddies joining us here today. We got Kak and L with us here today. L just leveled up. We love that. Thank you, L. Um, just a little bit of a extra, and we get a sandstorm. Cool beans here. All right. Not the stuff that I love because I hate getting stopped every thirty seconds by an error or by a message saying that we're being inflicted with three damage, but, um, you know, we gotta deal with it anyways. I thought that Ninkata was gonna try to join our team for a second there, to be honest, but luckily, no. This should not be that hard of a, um, dungeon. Hopefully, the only one that I'm really worried about here is gonna be Tyranitar. Um, but that's gonna be in a little bit. That's not gonna be right off the bat, luckily. But that's really my only concern here, just because Scarlet is a fire type. But that's the only real concern I have here right now. Um, other than that, this should be pretty smooth sailing for us. There we go. The faster we can get through this, the better I think better position we'll be in. Alright. So far so smooth. So I think what we'll do here is we will see you guys when we get to the rest stop. Unless something weird happens. Then you'll see that too, of course, of course. 
Okay, oh, come on. Come on. You're, you're not confused. Let's go. Come on, bud. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Good job, elves. Chub, Cack and L. Oh, come on. Of course it's a monster house. This happened. Uh, of course this is what happens to us. Alright, now let's use this. There we go. Get some goodies going. And we got through the monster house and everything. Alright, let's go through the next 10 floors. And as a little refresher of course, in the quicksand pit, we will see Pupitar, Scorpion, Mawile, Sandslice, Tyranitar, Hippotominus, and Ninjask. Tyranitar being my only main fear here today, um, in these next 10 floors. But at the same time, I'm not too, too worried, but my main only concern here. That being said, speaking on all that, it's been a hot minute since I've posted a, a PMD episode posted a lot of other stuff recently in the recent time um but that being said we are going to be coming back to them we'll be getting more out there um we'll see a mixture of these and the other videos that i've been posting as of late some vlogs are going to be going up as well with time so just expect a nice little mixture here and there of the PMD episodes and that. So I do want to keep this running and going because it has been a hot minute. And um, this uh, has been going on for a while. And we are a good chunk portion into the game too, which is great. Um, and I want to see it progress. And I want to make it as best as possible. And I feel like I'm always just waiting for us. Just death staring us to come into the room. Anyways. Um. If there's anything that you guys think I should include to make it better or anything. Just let me know. I'm more than happy to hear from you guys. See what would work best to make these better. Um. I am going to work on making them probably just a tad shorter because I know most of them have been pretty, pretty long. And of course, we've got Sandstorm right now. I'm going to blame a Tyranitar even though I don't see one right now. Um, but yeah. Um, so that's kind of where my mind's at with these right now. But I am excited to keep doing these um, just because I really do enjoy making these. And though sometimes they really make me want to bang my head into a wall because... This is my second time I've had to film this episode, and for some reason I feel like I had to fill episodes twice a lot. A lot more than I'd like to admit, too, just because something goes wrong. Either the mic doesn't pick up, or something along the weird lines. But, that's besides the point. We are here, and I think that's grimy food. Yeah, that's grimy food. I knew it. Anyways. But yeah, that's kind of where my head's at. And we are halfway through this dungeon. So let's see here. Okay, of course Riley wants to wake up Ninja Ass because Riley's Riley. And Riley doesn't care about anything. He just goes, ooh, Pokemon, attack. Which I mean... Yeah, it isn't the worst thing, I guess. And we're asleep, and we're asleep, and we're asleep, and I probably could have done uh, a lot of other things to prevent Riley from getting that from falling asleep too, but it really didn't matter, so it's fine. And there goes Ellie. Oh, lie. 
Okay. Well, got through most of it, so hey. Bring the level it was. Got pretty good. Went pretty good through it. So I'm proud. Pretty proud. I will say that. And you're asleep. Okay, until uh, Cag will get up and Cag also defeated, so it's okay. I'm not gonna be mad there. Not gonna be mad there. Okay, Sandy, 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 and I'm blaming you, Hippo. I'm blaming you. Come on. There we go. Okay, great. Riley's now level 29 as well, so that's a plus right there. We do not want you learning copycat, so I'm scared to know what you would do with copycat, to be quite honest. I feel like you'd be doing a lot of stupid things, so we're not gonna do that. We are not gonna take copycat in. We are gonna say copycat out. Very much out. There we go. There we go. There we go. I know I did say that Pokemon, but I'm running away because I feel like it. And we're gonna only battle it now when we're forced to. Cause logic, right? Logic. Plus, uh, of course. And of course, two, two Tyranitars too, and you know, of course, you know, I miss too, so you know, we love all that. We love all this. Why do we keep missing, bro? This isn't fair, okay. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, great. And another one in the corner. We love that. Yay. Bro! Ugh, this is very annoying right now. Attack, don't use growth. I don't care about growth. Do something else. Ah. Jeez, this is not what I need right now. Okay, chill, guys. Chill. Okay, I'm going to back up real quick. Because I don't like this. I don't like how this feels. And, uh... Okay, there goes Cat. Okay, please, 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 thank God. That was way too scary. Okay, so now we're all alone. Now we're all alone. I don't like being all alone. But we're all alone. Thank God for the paralyzed. Thank you, Riley. And the struggle to heal. Please, let's have us find the uh, the stairs quickly because uh, this is nerve wracking when I'm only at 40 health and you, you're doing a lot better than me right now because you have a lot more health. So, yeah. Hopefully we don't run into a Tyranitar or anything crazy, because if we do, I'm gonna just cry. I will just cry right here, right now. Lay on the ground and cry. Okay. Mm, I don't like that either. I don't like that either. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Everything's fine, thank god. We're done. Underground Lake. The, the
this is. Fantastic. I didn't expect to see this. This huge lake sprawling underground. Look, something's going way over there. That lake. I'm sure I've seen it before. That's it. I've got it now. It's the same kind of lake that we saw at Fogbound Lake. That means that lake could be coming from a time gear. We need to get a closer look at it, Scarlet. Whoa, it went dark. Wait, what? Who are you? Well, who said that? Why? Why did you come here? Why? We just came here to look for a time gear. Stay away from the time gear. If you won't leave the time gear alone, I'll stop you. Who, who are you? I'm Mesprit. Here at the deep underground lake, I protect the time gear. I won't allow you to disturb the time gear. Get ready. Alright, here we go. Time to battle Mesprit. Alright, let's see here. Flamethrower. Alright. Let's see what you got, Mesprit. Trust me, we're not gonna be easy. But we don't mean to do you no harm, but you won't listen. Oh, great! Well? wasn't expecting that to happen so I will see you guys when we get back up there again you're back you come up and we are back to most fruit guys you can come back all you like but you'll never get the time gear from me you're wrong. We didn't come here to steal time gear. You say that, but you can't be trusted. Get ready. And we came with backup this time, so... Yeah! Backup! Woohoo! whoop de doo Love that for us. Alright, let's see here. Okay, let's see. Switch. can do this this time. Well, Mesprit's burnt. And everyone else takes the damage, like Squirrel Maw. Okay, paralyzed. We like that. Progress is progress. Okay. Let's see how this goes. There we go. All over now. Uh, uh. But I can't let you take the time gear. Will you please just listen to me and give me your, seal of ti your time gear? Really? Don't lie to me. You can use this tell all of me to tell me what happened. I know the time gear was from Fogbound Lake was stolen. What? You heard it from Yuxi. That was your doing, wasn't it? No, we didn't do it. Then who's responsible? That probably would be me. Who are you? G Grovile? Th that's Grovile. I must apologize, but I will be taking the time gear. What? Oh, stand aside. I, I won't. I won't let you take the time gear. I have no choice then. Uh, mess for it. You lost that fight. Use the same serious damage, so don't push it. You're not getting by us. We won't let you take the time gear. Alright. Sorry for this. Uh, he's so fast. Forgive me, I have no quarrel with any of you, but I'm taking this time gear. I'm all and Squar just standing there, so that's just great. 
That's just wonderful. While Groval dives underwater, because he's totally a water type and aggressive at the same time, because that's totally a thing now, you know? And takes the time gear, and now we're all gonna be facing our possible frozen death, you know, in the time. Frozen and death in time, you know? Oh, what's happening? It's happening because of the time gear. The whole area, time will stop all around the underground. What? If we don't hurry, we'll be trapped in time. Hurry, red with all your might. And everyone go. Slow walk and run away. And casually now, the clouds lift over quicksand cave in the vicinity of the arid area. How casual. Chapter 12, the only option. Zip. Thank you for helping with our criminal that's it. Zip. Zip. We have mess for under protection. Her safety is assured. Zip. Zip. We're dedicating all resources to preserve a girl vow. Zip. Zip. If you come across any information related to this case, please let us know. Zip. Zip. We must all cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. Zip. Zip. That's all for now. Please excuse us. Zip. Okay. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for us today. Pokemon Mr. Dunning for the Sky. We went... And we found out that there was a lake underneath all that deserty quicksand stuff. Um, unfortunately, we cannot protect, uh, protect and save the time gear. Grovile stole it. So next time, let's figure out what we're going to do next. Now that Mesper is now clearly in the care of the Magazone teams and Magnite. Um, and let's see if we can stop Grovile or figure out who the hell Grovile is, why Grovile is doing this to begin with. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.